Hey guys, Jafar here. This video will cover the mixing table, berries, tea tiers, tea types, and their effects, along with the other recipes. The mixing table is obtained through crafting, looting, and purchases. Firstly, to craft the mixing table, you'll need a level 1 workbench and its blueprint. You could directly research the mixing table at a research bench or unlock its blueprint through the workbench tech tree. Next, the mixing table has a small chance to be found within the crates and on scientists. Finally, you can purchase the mixing table at the Bandit Camp food market for 175 scrap. The camp is the fastest and most recommended way to obtain the mixing table to start cooking up. There are five different berry types, including the red berry, green berry, blueberry, white berry, and yellow berry. Berries can be found in forest areas by locating their respective bush, and ones picked up can yield the berry, its seeds, a worm, or grub. Worms and grubs are used for fishing and will not contribute to the mixing table. Each berry type will contribute to different tea recipes. However, specific berries will be used more compared to others. The red berry is used in 12 recipes, the yellow berry is used in 9 recipes, the blue can be found in 6 recipes, and finally the white and green are both used in 3 recipes. Therefore, aim to collect more red berries along with yellow and blue. Along with looking for berry bushes, you can acquire their seeds to start farming them. You can get their seeds by either collecting the berry bush or eating a berry. Either place the seeds down outside a ranger base or within a planter so you can start growing them inside. However, you will need to provide a light source and continuously water them. With the berries ready, you can now start to think about the teas you'll be crafting. Each tea type has a tier that corresponds to its effects and craft cost. The tea tiers include basic tea, advanced tea, and pure tea. The basic tea has the weakest effects and is the cheapest to craft, only requiring a max of 4 berries. If you're looking for a better tea tier, you can upgrade to the advanced tier. The advanced teas are crafted from the 4 same basic teas, costing a total of 16 berries. Finally, the pure tea is the most effective tea and crafted from 4 of the same advanced teas. In total, the pure tea will cost you 64 berries. The T tiers will not change how long each one lasts, but rather its effectiveness. Each tier type can be crafted by changing the order and type of berries you include within each slot. You must place the berries in the correct order shown on the recipe ingredients screen. Additionally, you can see your active effects from the tea by looking in your inventory. These effects pause when you log off, meaning when you log back on, you will still have the remaining time left to use it. Firstly, we have the Healing Tea, which acts as a medkit and heals you over time. The Basic Healing Tea will only provide health over time, while the Advanced and Pure Teas will give you an additional instant health regen along with health over time. With multiple Advanced or Pure Teas, you can quickly regain your health back up during a fight. The Max Health Tea increases your total available health level from 100 to a max of 120. This tea will last a total of 20 minutes. And while an additional 20 health doesn't seem like a lot, it will make the difference during a gunfight since the enemy will now need to hit you with an additional 1 or 2 extra shots. The ore tea will increase the total ore yield you will receive from mining and not the collectibles. The ore teas will start at 20% and go to a 50% yield increase, meaning after mining 5 stone ores which typically yield 5000 stone, you will return with an additional 2500 stone or a total of 7,500 stone. Each ore tier will last a total of 30 minutes. The wood tier, as you might expect, will increase your total wood yield from farming and not the wood collectibles. The basic tier will start at a 50% increase, while the pure will go all the way up to 200%, lasting 30 minutes. If you were to farm a typical 5,000 wood worth of trees, with the pure tea active, you will now come home with 15,000 wood. The scrap tea will only increase the scrap you obtain from breaking barrels and not other crates or boxes. Same as the wood tea, the scrap tea will start at 50% and go all the way up to a 200% yield increase, lasting 30 minutes. These teas can be especially useful in dire times when you need to upgrade to a workbench or gather enough scrap to make a purchase. Barrels will typically drop 2 scrap every time you break one. With the basic tea, you will now collect 3 scrap. The advanced tea will give you 4 scrap, and finally, the pure tea will give you 6 scrap per barrel. The anti rad tea will reduce the damage dealt from radiation and increase your exposure resistance. 
The basic tier will give you a low damage resistance with a high exposure of resistance. The advanced tier will provide only a minimum damage resistance. Finally, pure tier will yield a high damage and exposure resistance. Consider taking the anti-rad tier to the launch site where you'll be guaranteed to experience radiation when climbing the tower. This can make the experience a lot easier and reduce the number of meds and water you need to bring along. We are now finished with the teas that you can craft on the mixing table. However, there are other products and resources you can craft. Low grade fuel can also be crafted with the mixing table by placing down cloth and animal fat. It has no additional cost benefit over crafting it within your inventory. However, the mixing table allows you to do other things while crafting, with the additional benefit of crafting at the speed of a level 3 workbench. If you plan on crafting explosives, making gunpowder with the mixing table is recommended. It is more cost efficient to craft gunpowder at the mixing table since it only costs 20 sulfur and 20 charcoal, instead of the 30 charcoal it would have cost from inventory crafting. Crafting gunpowder in your inventory at a level 3 workbench is twice as fast at 0.5 seconds per, compared to the mixing table's 1 second per. However, using the mixing table allows you to save resources and go off to do other things. The final mixing table craftable is explosives, if you have the blueprint. Like the low grade, you will not receive any crafting cost benefit. However, the mixing table allows you to craft explosives much faster at 4 seconds, compared to the 5 seconds per explosive with the level 3 workbench. Therefore, it is the fastest and easiest way to make explosives considering you can leave it crafting while doing other things. The mixing table offers you a physical advantage within the game, whether through increased health, ore gathering, wood gathering, radiation protection or loot yield. Teas are often overlooked by players but are insanely easy to craft if you can continue to build up a collection of berries. Also, get yourself a mixing table if you plan on crafting gunpowder or explosives, as it will save you time or resources. Thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.